Hey everyone, how's it going? And welcome to another Cloud Path tutorial. Today we're going to be building a simple CI CD pipeline on AWS using AWS Code Pipeline in order to automate our code release process from local development all the way out to production. So if that sounds interesting, please stick around and let's do this. <music> All right, so let's take a high level look at what our deployment pipeline is going to look like. First of all, we'll be using a sample Node.js application located in a GitHub repository. We'll set up our pipeline so that whenever we commit any changes to our application in GitHub, it'll trigger our AWS code pipeline instance to kick in and start the deployment process. Finally, code pipeline will deploy our application to our target web server, which will be set up in AWS Elastic Beanstalk which essentially means that our code will live on EC2 instances behind the scenes. So that's it, very simple, um, just a simple one stage build pipeline. And it's likely that in future tutorials, we'll add to this pipeline and you know, add a build stage and possibly some other stages to the pipeline. All right, so um, don't worry too much if you're not familiar with Elastic Beanstalk or Code Pipeline, that's kind of the point of this video. We'll touch on all those pieces as we go through the process. All right, so before we actually start to build out our pipeline, I just want us to take a quick look at the sample app that we'll be using as our target in this exercise. So this is the Musician app, um, and it just, it's a Node.js application that provides read, write, and delete functionality for a list of musicians. Here's what it looks like in the UI. Okay, so we can, you know, delete musicians. We can add a new one. Just like that, very basic, all right? Just to give us something to work with here. So in the description of this video, I will provide a link to the Musician app repository here. So what I want you guys to do is either, um, either fork this application into your own GitHub repository, or you can clone and download it and upload it to your own GitHub. But uh, whichever way you go about it, just make sure you have a copy of this application in your own GitHub account. All right, guys, so I think we're ready to start building out our pipeline. Let's go ahead and navigate to aws.amazon.com and go ahead and sign into the management console. There we go. All right, now the first place I want to go to is Elastic Beanstalk. So if you don't have it under recently visited, just go ahead and type it into um, the search here. Elastic Beanstalk, there it is. All right, so in a nutshell, Elastic Beanstalk is just a way for us to deploy resources to AWS. So in this case, it's gonna deploy resources to EC2 instances behind the scenes. Um, if this were a real production grade application, I may go directly to EC2 and set it up directly there, just so I have a little bit more control. But at the expense of a little bit of control, um, this allows us to deploy resources you know, very quickly. So it's perfect for a demo like this. Now, depending on whether you've been here before, the splash page may look slightly different. I know in some cases you may see a little drop down here prompting you to choose your, you know, what kind of environment you want to create right off the bat. And then, you know, you have a call to action below. So if you do see that, go ahead and choose Node.js and then whatever it is, create environment, create application. Um, in my case, I'm just going to go ahead and click on get started. All right. Now, now either way, you should basically end up at the same place eventually. So I'm going to give this a name. Musician app, all right? And for platform, I'm gonna choose Node.js since this is a Node.js application. Um, I'm gonna leave sample application highlighted. I'm not gonna upload or deploy my code at all at this point because I'm gonna allow our build pipeline to actually do that once that's set up. All right, so once you've made those selections, go ahead and click on create application. All right, now this will take several minutes to you know, provision, so I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video and come back as soon as this is complete. All right, that is now finished. So just to recap, what have we actually done here? So first we've created a new environment, a Node.js environment, and then Elastic Beanstalk has also deployed a sample application into that environment. So we've used things like EC2 and S3 instances behind the scenes, but you don't really see that except for looking at the logs. Um, because Elastic Beanstalk basically takes care of all that provisioning of resources for us. All right, now, um, oh, the other thing I want to mention is you don't have to worry about 
even adding any kind of build scripts for, for example, for npm install. Um, basically, Elastic Beanstalk, if it finds a package.json in the root of your application, it will run that for us. So um, everything about this process is very automated and automatic, which is where the convenience factor comes in. All right, so what we can do is just test to make sure this is, this is all working. Um, if you see at the top of the page, it gives us a URL for the test application that's been deployed. So I'm going to go ahead and open that in a new tab. And there we go. Congratulations, your first AWS Elastic Beanstalk Node.js application is now running. Yada, yada, yada. So our initial deployment was successful. Great. So now the next step is going to be to actually go over to AWS Code Pipeline and set up our build pipeline. So I'm going to go ahead and close this for now. And let's see. I don't think I need to do anything else here. So let's go back up to services. And I've got code pipeline here in my history, but if you don't, you know what to do. Just type it in here and it should pop right up. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do here is go ahead and click on create pipeline. All right, and let's make the screen a little bit bigger here. All right, so let's give our pipeline a name. So I'm gonna say musician app pipeline just to keep it consistent here. All right, and I'm gonna pretty much leave all my default set, new service role. So this is saying, yes, please go ahead and create this um, IAM service role that's needed. Uh, so that'll do that behind the scenes for us. Uh, artifact store, I'll leave as the default location. So if any artifacts are created as a result of this pipeline, it'll create an S3 bucket to store those in. All right, so let's go ahead and click on next source provider. So I'm going to go ahead and click on GitHub because that's where our source code lives. Now you'll need to allow AWS permissions to access your GitHub account. So go ahead and click on connect to GitHub and you'll probably have to enter in your password. Um, I didn't because I've done this already so it was pretty quick for me but just enter in your GitHub password and then um, allow permissions to AWS. Once you've done that we can select our repository which is um, where is it? Musician app. There it is. Uh, go ahead and select the master branch and detect options. So this is basically saying, um, how do you want your pipeline to be triggered? If I select AWS code pipeline, basically it's a kind of check and pull mechanism where it'll say, have there been any changes? No. Any changes? No. Any changes? No. Any changes? Yes. Go ahead and kick off the pipeline. But I think using Git GitHub webhooks is much more efficient. So it's more of an event-driven model where anytime you have a check-in or code commit or merge, um, it'll go ahead and kick off the pipeline. So let's leave all of our defaults here selected and click on Next. Build Provider. We're actually going to skip the build stage in this tutorial, and we'll add it in future videos. But right now, I think we just want to focus on getting the deployment complete. Deploy Provider is going to be Elastic Beanstalk. This is our target. All right, and you want to make sure that your Elastic Beanstalk and your code pipeline are both within the same region. And so make sure that's selected here. Application name is going to be music, Musician App. Environment name is going to be Musician App ENV. Um, it may be without the one for you, just I've done this a couple of times, so it may be slightly different for me. All right, click on Next. So this is our review page. We're just verifying that everything looks good. And go ahead and click on Create Pipeline. All right, so now we can see that the pipeline has been created. And it is right now deploying to Elastic Beanstalk. So um, the first stage here was successful. Now we're deploying, so that should just take a minute or two, and then we can go ahead and um, verify that our code's been deployed. All right, and it looks like the deployment is complete, so let's go ahead and check that. I'm going to open up this in a new window. Oh, I think I just have to click on it. There we go. All right, so this is our environment, our Node.js environment. I'm going to click on that. And here's our application within that environment. So um, there's a URL up here that, that we've seen before. So let's just go ahead and open that in a new tab. And there we go. There is our deployed application. So we're no longer seeing that test sample application. Um, let's just quickly make sure this works. I'll delete one and just add somebody. Okay, good, and so cool, everything's working. All right, so uh, with that, 
that is basically our pipeline is complete now. So what I want to do now is um, make a slight change to the application, commit that code, and then let's check and make sure that our triggering works and that you know that check-in basically triggers another uh, deployment pipeline and that we finally see our changes in production. All right. All right, so I've opened up Visual Studio, and what I want to do is just make a small change in the Musician app and then push it and, you know, see if it works. So what I want to do is add a health check URL that just returns like a 200 OK message. So let's go ahead and open up. So underneath Musician app, underneath the root folder, I'm going to open up routes and then musician.js. And let me make the font size a little bit bigger here. This is basically where our express routes are defined. Um, oh yeah, control plus. There we go. Well, that's too big. Control minus. All right. So hopefully this will work the first time. I haven't actually tested this beforehand. <laughs> so live coding here. Um, so we're going to do a get. Let's go ahead and copy this first. Retrieve all. And let's just copy that whole block, or sorry, paste that whole block right above it. So I'll just change the comment to say health check. All right, and we want to change the route endpoint to be, let's just do health like that. So we don't need this line, musicians. Um, we don't need any of this actually, so let's just leave like one response status, just like this. And then so we're going to send back 200 and Let's just send back a string message and we'll say 200 OK. Just so that whenever we hit this endpoint, you know, um, we have some kind of indication that the server, uh, the server or service is up and running. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. You know, let's just change it to say status OK. Yeah, it doesn't matter, anything you want. So save that. All right, so I'm going to open up um, a command line interface here so I can check that in. Just make this a little bit bigger here as well. I'm actually running this application locally, so I'm going to exit out of that. Clear. So I'm going to do a git status, git add the routes. And that should be enough to add that file. Okay, I'm going to do a git commit. I'm going to say add health check route. Okay, and I'm going to say git push. So I'm pushing that change to the repository, directly to the master branch. So theoretically, that should be kicking that should be kicking off our code pipeline process. All right, so let's go back to AWS and see what's happening over there. Great, that looks like it's working just fine. I could, I could see that, you know, before I even got to this page, it looks like it already succeeded again. And it's deploying right now to Elastic Beanstalk. So far, so good. I'm just going to let this run because it was pretty quick last time. And then what we can do is just Close some of these folders here. I've already got that up and running, so I can close Elastic Beanstalk. And um, so once this finishes, we can just do like a slash health and expect to get back that string. That will be our verification. All right, it'll take a, I guess it's going to take a minute longer, so let me just stop this for now. All right, deployment complete. So now we can go back to our application and check that health check route. Let's pop open DevTools just in case anything goes wrong so we can kind of get some debugging information here. Preserve log, good console. All right, so actually since we created this route in the musician's routes file, we have to do slash musician slash health. You know, I'd probably change this uh, in a production app just to be slash health, but this is fine for now. I think that's right, so let's try that. Uh, no, it didn't like that for some reason. Hmm. Oh, musician. Maybe it's it's just musician, not musicians. Maybe. Cool. Status okay. All right, so as you can see, our code changes, 
you know, that's just awesome. Like I, I just committed that to GitHub and it's already in production. So I didn't have to do take any further action or anything like that. Code pipeline just kicked in and worked its magic and our code is already live. So great. Well, um, you know, obviously we're just scratching the surface here with what's possible with CI C D and AWS. So I think, you know, if there's any interest in this video, I'll probably follow up with a couple of more where we'll actually add like a build stage and um, possibly some other kind of stages into our pipeline, make it a little bit more robust and sophisticated. So, uh, but for now, I think this is a good exercise to get our feet wet here. Cool. Well, um, uh, if you guys enjoyed this video and enjoy my content in general, uh, please consider subscribing to the channel. That helps me out a lot. Really appreciate, um, would love to have you. And uh, otherwise, I will see you in the next video. All right, guys, take care. Thank you.